837 here, Big 550 KTRS. Kat Neville from Feast Magazine is uh, here, as like she is every Wednesday for the last <laughs> nine years? Decade. Decade? Ten Something years? Something like that, Holy McGraw. Holy mackerel. Uh, when you were gone for that couple of weeks, I f- my week was all messed up because I didn't have a Wednesday. Well, because you're my Wednesday, <laughs> and so I was like Thursday. I was like, "Is it Wednesday yet? I haven't seen." That Kat sounds like yet. a Seinfeld episode, like when they yeah. named that girl Seven or whatever. You're my Wednesday. You're my Wednesday. You're I my like Wednesday. That. Kat Neville with Feast Magazine. She's a publisher. FeastSTL.com. Let's get right to it. Give us a couple of restaurants. Okay, so uh, I have one restaurant and then one locally made product, and so I'm actually going to start off with the product, okay. and uh, it's it's really interesting. A lot of times people will send stuff to the feast offices right. for us to try sure. and kind of sample. And so one day, this box of Huga bars, H-U-G-A, uh, arrives at the office. And we're kind of looking at it. We're like, what is this? And it's beautifully packaged. Okay. And they're these um, snack bars that are produced by a company that is based in Chesterfield. And... There's really, really tasty. So kind of think Cliff Bar um, in that kind of a vein. It's not okay. meant to be a meal replacement bar. It's kind of like a midday healthy snack instead okay. of potato chips. All right. And so what's interesting about these is, number one, they really try to steer clear of... Uh, refined sugar and they use things like dates and honey and coconut sugar to sweeten the bars. All right. What else is really interesting is that they have these really great international uh, flavors. So as opposed to being like just a granola bar or something along those lines, you're just kind of like no, making funny faces. No, I'm not. I'm actually listening. But, <laughs> well, but, I hope you're listening. But, but, I, <laughs> but, but I did like the inflection on granola bars. They're not just granola bars. Well, I I love a granola bar. I love granola. Okay. But that's not what this is. So what they're doing, they were inspired by travels in Europe. And so one of the flavors is almond and honey. And so it was inspired by um, the, like a, 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 an Italian style, a Spanish style nougat okay. kind of flavor. And the texture on these, uh, it's not, it doesn't have uh, nuts that are kind of like like a kind bar. It doesn't have a bunch of nuts and, and right. fruit and that kind of stuff. Everything is very smooth and kind of, you know, like kind of pureed together yeah. and then formed into this bar. Hmm. And they're delicious. And I, this box, I just kept going over to Liz Miller, our senior editor. I kept going by her <laughs> desk and being like, I'm hungry. I'm taking one of these bars things. And um, the other flavor is chocolate hazelnut, which obviously is a classic European flavor. Okay. And um, they have a couple more that they're going to be uh, putting out. One um, is Dolce de Leche Oat and Walnut. So it's going to have... So Dolce de Leche is like that gorgeous South American like caramel. Okay. And then having oats and obviously walnuts. So it, it's really interesting that this product, which is a national level product, it's, right. it's beautifully made. It's actually manufactured. It's gluten free. It's manufactured in um, in a, a really high end uh, spot, in, actually in California, because the manufacturing process it was required that that it was re, uh, made out there. Um, but it, but but the company's here in Chesterfield. Yes, and it is Huga, here in Chesterfield. H-U-G-A? H-U-G-A, and their website is H-U-G-A bar.com. So you can go on there and kind of check everything out. But it's just really interesting to see, I mean, our local foods aren't just restaurants and farmers right. yeah. and all this kind of stuff. There's a lot of other things that are made um, yeah. in and around our region. And so one is this really interesting new bar. Can we get a Huga bar at... Um Convenience stores near you, I guess? Well, it's, it's in higher end retail areas. So, yeah, go to hugabar.com to okay. kind of see where you can right. um, but, but find look, them. Look for it when you're out and about. Huga. Yes. Huga bars. All right. Yeah. Check it out. Definitely. All right, good. Thanks for, for bringing one so we could try one. I ate them all. <laughs> there aren't any left. It's certainly understandable. All right. Yeah. Thanks, Liz. <laughs> Liz met Miller. Me, right? Appreciate it. <laughs> all right. What's I number eat everything. two? Yes. Um, so, number two is uh, my. My friends, Dee Dee and Andy Cohen, who are known for Edgewild, which is out near um, Chesterfield Mall. Okay. They, uh, a while ago, they launched Wild Smoke, and uh, which was in Creve Core. And that uh, concept, it was very popular. It was doing really well. But uh, essentially, they were saying when we interviewed Andy, he was saying that, you know, the costs were kind of, because it was a protein centric, it was right. barbecue. Mm-hmm. Um, so they closed that down. 
and they have relaunched it as the Edge Wild Bistro and Tap. And so the location mm. is 12316 Olive Boulevard in Creve Core. And it is eclectic, kind of like chef driven, more casual American fare. So it's kind of like the sister restaurant to Edgewild, but it's not quite as, um, you know, it's not as high end. It's much more, you can go in, there's a big bar and kind of an area with a bunch of TVs with sports right. playing and uh, a very large uh, open kitchen. So they have things like, seasoned popcorn and and fried kale and then they have this really kind of light and lovely um avocado and crab salad that's served with like an indian fry bread they have wings um they have a bunch of sandwiches and they have a, some really great pizzas one that i especially liked was a prosciutto and uh, pistachio pizza which was interesting mm. they have some regular things on the menu too they have a margarita pizza with uh you know these kind of like uh mexican flavors and a salt rim on the crust and everything is all the pizzas are cooked in this uh in this you know uh, it was wonderful like live fire oven and they have like this uh they have this smoked fried chicken where it's a brine chicken that's smoked and then it's fried but it doesn't have the skin on it so it's a really interesting preparation hmm. and that's served with this really kind of creamy uh mac and cheese that has a little bit of uh green chilies in there it's pretty delicious and Edge Wild, yes. The one in um, as you head to the valley there, right? That interior is beautiful. It's gorgeous. Yeah, it is gorgeous, and it's huge. Yeah. And this is a very different um, spot, but it has that same yeah. uh, kind of stamp of you know just it's a kind, comfortable. It's, it's, it's very green and green, if you know what that is. No. Oh, Green and Green is uh, it's a takeoff of Arts and Crafts. It's sort oh, of the okay. next generation of Arts and Crafts. It's oh, a, nice. It's a little Asian influence, but kind of Green and Green. And it is it is very attractive. And one of the things, obviously, about um, Edge Wild in um, in both locations is that they are producing private label wines, and so they have a very large by the bottle wine list. But by the glass, they're all Edge Wild wines. And um, one of the wines that I had that I thought was really interesting was a white. Uh, white Pinot Noir, which in my mind, when I think white Zinfandel, it's right. that pink, awful, yes. sweet, No disrespect not good to people who love wine. white Zinfandel. Well, it's not, it's not good wine. <laughs> anyway, um, but it wasn't. It was not a pink wine. It was a white wine where the in the winemaking process, they de-skinned the, uh, the grapes before they crushed them. Uh -huh. And it was really interesting. It almost had a flavor profile or a richness on the palate similar to um, a rosé because it's obviously a red mm. grape. So yeah. it didn't have a similar juice. It was really interesting. They have a, a really nice dry Riesling as well on the menu that I had a chance to try. And terrific beer selection and um and just you should know that Dee Dee Cohen is a, a second level sommelier and so she really she knows, knows her wine and she also knows her beer and so she's done a great job with so that. So it's Edgewood what's Edge it? Wild Edge Wild Bistro and Tap. Bistro and Tap and it's on Olive. Yes in, in Creve, Creve Core. Core and it is just a kind of you know, easier going, more casual cousin right. to their location out in Chesterfield. All right, beautiful. All yeah. right, uh, what's going on with uh, Feast Magazine? Well, uh, the South International South Grand International Dine Around is tomorrow, mm -hmm. and so South Grand now can boast more nationalities than Epcot. It is kind of like <laughs> our our mini international, you know, uh, United Nations essentially. Yes. And so tomorrow is the Dine Around, and you buy a ticket and you can go from restaurant to restaurant it's kind of a make your own way around and have a chance to sample just all of the really great food that is available um, on South Grand I love that neighborhood. where do you buy the ticket um, if you actually go to southgrand.org, uh, you can purchase the tickets there. It's 30 bucks, And so you just kind of like, you're going to be able to have your choice of an appetizer, entree, dessert, drink, and then a wild card to choose another course um, where you can kind of just then pick your way around and hang out on South Grand, which is just a gem. Uh, have you ever been to Rocket Century on South Grand? 
I haven't yet. Oh my goodness. That store is great. I walk by the windows. You got to go in. It's real. I mean, a friend of mine did go in who she's very, very into mid century vintage furniture and they've got great stuff. Holy mackerel. They got great stuff. They really do. And it is, I don't want to say cheap, it is inexpensive. Well, and which is wonderful. Yes. Because also, I mean, that style is very much kind of coming back. Yeah. Those very clean lines. Yes. And, um, and it, it's exciting to see that kind of, you know, a furniture store right there on South Grand. Right there on South Grand. Yep. And they, they can pack a whole bunch of stuff in a small space. Have you shopped there? I have shopped there. And you, every time I go in there, it's, it's all new. So they, they move it in, they get it in, they get it out. It's called Rocket Century. It's on South Grand. So nice. go and go to a couple of restaurants on South Grand and go yeah, check out Rocket Century. I definitely Century. will. It's fun. You'll the furniture it. maker in you kind of nerds out whenever well, you go well, in. Well, whether you, whether, you, whether you like that type of furniture or not, it's just cool to go and see it's it. It's beautiful preserved. furniture. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's very sophisticated in that it is more minimal, uh, more minimalist than a lot right. of kind of the furniture that you see manufactured now, which seems to be huge. They had a if i can um digress for a moment they had a big giant piece of furniture which was a stereo oh and it was a piece of furniture and it had a turntable in it and then it had an eight track tape and it had <laughs> instead of a volume button it had a loudness button awesome and they retrofitted it so you could hook up your ipad to oh it. that's great right so you could play tunes from this old mid-century stereo, which is as big as a TV now. Well, and think about it. It used to be that, like, televisions were furniture. Right. I yeah. mean, before, everything was very, very small, and you attach it to the wall or yeah. whatever, and it was kind of meant to fade into the background. Right. You know, it used to be that we were, they were people like, here is... It was really a lot of fun. My hi-fi. Rocket Century, for, for what it's worth. That's an unpaid endorsement. Uh, feast, <laughs> FeastSTL.com. Mm -hmm. uh, FeastSTL.com. Don't forget, you can subscribe to the magazine. Uh, new stands everywhere, and you can get it delivered right to your front door. Kat, yes. have, a, have a good week. Thank you. You got it. Uh, it is uh, 8.50 here, Big 550, KTRS.